Howdy folks, it is the end of PAX Day 1. We are here for our nightly regroup of the day's events. With me, as always, is The Beef. Hello. And Cherry Dooms here as well. Hello. And how would we summarize what happened today? It's been quite a day, lots gone on. Um, it, how, would you, how would you summarize everything? It really has, I mean, just, just some highlights. We met the CEO of Navigator, for real. Yeah, uh, we met some we met some fans, which was awesome. We signed a couple autographs, and we uh, capped it off with uh, no joke a limo ride following Protons John's video game tournament, which took place in his hotel room. The first Craigslist. All right, let's yeah, go. We got some new Craigslist posts since <laughs> yesterday. Absolutely, Cherry Doom has them pulled up. So uh, what's what are people hunting for? Someone wants uh, a any kinky rainbow haired girls. Whoa. Uh, he's up for something meaningless and entertaining. Maybe a drink, maybe more with an easy on the ways guy. I think he means easy on the eyes. But I know I am frantically sharpening my hair in all colors of the rainbow so mm. I can fit this guy's uh, frantically, yeah. standards. Right. That's a specific fetish, though. Yeah. Like a rainbow wig. You'd think he would go to an anime con for that kind of posting. I didn't see any rainbow one. wigs today. I would think a clown con more than Yeah, that anime. would also work. Yeah. 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 Like, at that point, you might as well get the floppy shoes and the little honk kind of thing <laughs> Or just, going. you know, a tragic painting accident that happened, maybe. <laughs> Could do the trick. Can someone read this one? I will. The Nerd Squared one? I want to read the Nerd Squared. Okay. I have it loaded up here. Oh, okay. I forgot you have a computer. Hi. <laughs> no problem. Hi, Boston. Weary traveler and video game lover has just arrived in Boston. We know you said hi to it. And is seeking a partner in crime. Oh, God. Wait. Come debrief post... A session in my hotel room and see if the expansion packs are compatible. Ugh. Me, 5'8", 160 pounds, brown eyes, great smile, short blonde hair, uh, swimmer. Th thanks. <laughs> sure. You, under 30, likes her men like she likes her games. R role playing, complicated and going on for many rounds, always leveling up. <sighs> Alright. Is that a real... Well, are people making ironic posts on Craigslist because we talked about it? Well, he put. Packed, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry, no. He put, please put ticket to ride in your subject heading so I know you aren't spam and that you rule. And that you're a Beatles fan. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's awfully random. I would, you know? I would say that, like, with the description and the. Uh, that this is not fake at all. Okay. I think, I think if it was, like. Like to us or to Trek us or to that, I feel like there would just be something a little more like, please put Mike Dawson in the title yeah. or okay. something like that. You That's know, fair. I don't know. I guess it's because PAX has actually started now, and people have you know, yeah. they're, they're all guaranteed to be here, so yeah. the real crazies can come out. Yeah, and they realize yeah. they haven't you know hooked up with the mm -hmm. rainbow hair girl of their right. dreams. Right? Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. This Fine. one creeps me out so much. In town for PAX, I'm looking for a little friend to spend some time with away from my buddies. I'm 5'5", 220 pounds with a thick 6.5 inch and thick buddy of my own. Smiley, Smiley face. face. <laughs> That's, wait, 6.5 inch and thick buddy of his own? Yeah, Does he, he, used, have two dicks? he used thick twice, so I'm I'm guessing he has two dicks. So. Alright. Mm -hmm. If you're into that. Alright. Well, uh, I mean, if that were me, that would have been my leader. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thick buddy. I here. have two dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe he just has a thick buddy who's there to watch. <laughs> can, I, can I read one? Go ahead. Here for, all right, subject. Here for Pax, looking to give a girl oral. <laughs> That's why he came to the convention, <laughs> specifically. Yeah. I'm here for Pax in a hotel, thank you. So we'll be going home on the 25th, looking to give oral to any female. Size is no problem, as long as clean. So, is that the girl or the vagina he wants to go down on? Uh, I, don't, I don't care if you're a vagina, I could wear it like a hood. Just make sure, yeah, you know. Or a fedora. Or a, or a fedora, right. Yeah. More appropriate. I mean, remember where we are. Yeah. If, or if you have rainbow hair, pubic hair, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, it's perfect then. Yeah, yeah. I, I love going down on girls. I'm five comma six. Uh, I'm five or six years old. 190 <laughs> pounds and clean. He's really obsessed on that clean place. Well, at least he's not a hypocrite. No, here's that. That's fair. This guy uh, needs a hotel. I'm 21, we'll be at PAX East, and need a place to crash. A floor is fine, a couch is even better, haha. Maybe if you are cute, I'll upgrade to the bed for you, haha. 
<laughs> and he's uh, sleeping in the alley tonight. Just looked outside. And, uh, yeah, he's shivering in a ditch. I like, really like. Oh, I'll do you the favor of sleeping in your bed. <laughs> the audacity too to be like, I need a place to stay. But but you know, if you're cute, uh, yeah, I'll yeah. totally fuck you too. Yeah. No problem. If you're also, if you have some money, I could borrow. That would also be great. And if, if, you're, if you have PAX passes, don't plan on using them. Right. <laughs> I'm the sexiest mooch you've ever seen. If you like video games, it's a plus. <laughs> oh, here's a guy who uh, video games isn't necessarily a plus. I love nerdy girls, and if you're nerdy, or not actually, so please just send <laughs> if you're, <laughs> If you exist. <laughs> just sexually frustrated and want to come fuck a random guy for a little while, I live right behind the convention center and would love to have you over for an hour or so. Help you relieve some of the stress of the convention. <laughs> it's a video game convention. The stress of the convention? <laughs> It lives right behind it, maybe. Yeah. Like, no I can't stand the lines. I just need to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I am so frustrated that I can't get to these panels because of the lines. Back here, let's do this. Suck my 6.5 inch and buddy. <laughs> At the same time. I'm 5, comma 6. <laughs> I'll lick that pussy as long as it's clean. <laughs> and if it likes video games, that's a plus. <laughs> Um, this, guy, this is all we've done at PAX, by the way. We've got <laughs> Craigslist yes. postings. Yeah. This guy has a pretty standard post, but his t- he has two pictures. One picture is a very cute picture of him uh, petting a baby duck, and Aww. the next picture is his dick. Okay, uh, well, there's that. Um, I mean, you've got to know both sides of him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is, is the dick holding the duck in the second picture? Is the duck a common theme between the two? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I see you've loaded the dick on your phone. Oh, yep, that's uh, I gotta I gotta check it out. You know, yeah, I mean, you've seen his sensitive side. Yeah. I mean, why not? Is it the guy's dick or the duck's dick? <laughs> I think that's what D and D stands for. You know, ducks need love too. Dicks and ducks, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's the new meaning of roll a d six. Roll dicks. Right. Um, so uh, you know, if you're still looking for some action really late at night here, okay. there are options if you are a woman looking for a man. Right. Yes. There are a few. Uh, there are a couple men for men. Yeah. Sure. But, but uh, no W for him. Other than that one, uh, also I will say that uh, women for women usually get pulled down pretty quickly, either for uh, being spam, suspected of spam, or they just they get so many um, replies that uh, they just pull them down. And the men for women don't get a lot of replies on the packs. Where Imagine it's, that. Okay, mm, it's so okay. strange. Oh well. At any rate. <sighs> Um, let's see, are there any others you want to... No, that's pretty much it for now. All right, well... Well, Hopefully there'll be some more, but I have a feeling they're not going to (laughs) jump up anymore as the weekend goes on. So that was the Craigslist beat. Yeah. Or Craigslist beat off, whatever you want to call it. Exactly. (laughs) So, uh, back to the convention itself. All right, we had a stellar morning. Yeah. Um... Oh, um, yeah, got some breakfast and then waited outside. It was very cold in the morning, mm-hmm. you know, especially for myself, being a southern gent. Same here. My fingers were uh, not uh, <coughs> feelable. <laughs> so we waited for the shuttle for it was, uh, about half hour about or right, so, yeah. and uh, we see the shuttle coming by, and it keeps going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause it was really com- full of uh, rainbow wigs and uh, yeah, wings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, completely Cat full. Ears. Completely yeah. full of people who are DTF, and um, too <laughs> full, so it just kept going, and so... DTF, by the way, and DDF, which I've learned from Craigslist now, which is... Drug and disease free. That's right. Oh. The more you know. I didn't need the little star. Uh, I was like, down, down to fuck. (laughs) Down, down, fuck. I will double down on my fuck. (laughs) English isn't your first language. Down, down, fuck. (laughs) No. That's someone who's named their dog fuck and yeah. is giving them commands. Yeah, but, um... So, I know we decided to walk to the uh, convention center from our hotel, which is about, say, like a mile and a half, two miles, something like that. About a... 20, 30 minute walk. Yeah. I thought I was going to die, but as soon as we hit the, we got into some sunlight, I was fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And photosynthetic, by the way. It was a smooth walk otherwise, and then we uh, got to it. Yeah. Well, we woke up early because um, you were interested in going to the first panel. Yeah, I was interested in seeing the Blizzard panel. I've been playing a little bit of Heart of the Swarm off and on. Uh, our forums buddy, Dectalon, he's also heavy into the game, so we've skirmished a few times. Mm-hmm. And I was interested in seeing what was new with Blizzard. They had some mysterious announcement, I think, was the idea behind the panel. Or I think it was in the description of the panel, in fact. And, mm-hmm. Yes. Um, but when we got there, the little sign said, no, the panel's completely full, sorry. It's but someone we met later said you could apparently like get in regardless. Yeah, Zealous. Like, uh, he's the same guy we met last year. Um, yeah, cool guy. Talked to him er, uh, earlier today as well. But uh, yeah, he said that apparently the surprise Blizzard was bringing forth was a new online trading card game. 
Hmm. Which, you know, that's where you would go after making a successful RTS game. It's like, it, I think they try to undersell it, but it doesn't quite work, because it's like, Blizzard does a little something new. Yeah, well, they have a, they're in the Expo Hall, too, and they have these big screens showing yeah. trading card game. <laughs> yeah, it's like... On this oh. big, you know... Yeah, uh, alright. It's like, Thanks. okay, I mean, okay. great. Yeah. Um, like Are the that. cards like animated or anything? Because I can't. I it, the can't card see... game is, I think, is related to Warcraft. I mean, so, I mean, is it like at least interesting and stylized to look at? Well, it says here it's not a sequel, expansion, or that rumored next gen MMO. So if it's not an expansion, I guess it's technically not to do with Warcraft. Like it's a new IP, apparently. Hmm. So yes. I don't know. I mean, I'm not really big into trading card games, but it's just sort of like. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of. I'm ultimately kind of. Well, I guess for Blizzard, it's kind of an untapped market as people who like their games and might like trading card games as well. I suppose. I don't know. What do I know? They're expanding their user base for later. I don't know. I'm not an M for FCG, so you yeah, know, exactly. So TCG. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, yeah. So yeah, so it ended up being full. So instead, I'm, I'm glad we made the decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, it's good for us. So um, we decided we didn't have any other immediate plans. So we went to the um, cla- uh, classic consoles room. Mm-hmm. And you'll feel old hearing this, folks. The GameCube is now considered a classic console. There was one lone GameCube in there, along with your NESs, your Turbo Graphics, your Jaguars, your Jaguars. <laughs> Your classic that Jaguar. Your classic Jaguar. The three people who played it, I'm sure, can yeah. it. So, of course, the first thing we did was uh, play some uh, competitive multiplayer Metroid Prime Echoes. What else would you play? I mean, it's kind of it's becoming a new <laughs> online community. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh, no, big, big in the big in Korea, it's growing there exponentially Absolutely right ridiculous. now. I mean, StarCraft is just going under the gutter now. Seriously. With Metroid Prime Echoes, start... competitive multiplayer, just expanding all over the globe. These StarCraft commentator people mm-hmm. better, you know, get on the. They next better train get on their Metroid here. Prime lore. They need yeah. to know like the proper build orders for. Do you get Dark Beam first or Light Beam? Right. The slug, the slug like turning speed. Yeah. Yeah. Just that's... Adds so much. Yeah. Strategy yeah. To the it. antiquated controls. Yeah. Uh, getting around those. Or even the question. Ones like you have two analog sticks on the damn GameCube yeah. controller. If you want to turn, you need to stop running so much, yeah. pause for a bit, turn, then go on. That's or, something you kind of have to adapt to. It's part of the skill base. It's like APM and Starcraft. Or you lock yeah. onto an enemy and just ro- you know rotate around them to move. Yeah, That's exactly. Kind of interesting. And then of course there's the goofy fights where you just spam your power <laughs> button, doing one point of damage while yeah. the other person yeah. does the same, and it looks like you're doing an awkward jig, and old timey music <laughs> plays out of nowhere. Yeah. You have to know what to do in those situations. And it takes get, a lot of skill. Or you get death ball, where you <laughs> yeah, death are ball. forced into morph ball mode and. You you one touch kills someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so named after the popular, like uh, <laughs> named after the popular Cobra character. Absolutely. Yeah, favorite power up. Or my favorite power up, hacking. Yeah, which, which we're not clear on what it does. It took us like ten games, but you. Well, when you get the power up, you don't, you can't fire yourself. You can't shoot or anything. Your right? screen becomes the scanning mode. You must thing. scan. Right. So you have to scan somebody. And, and then, then they start taking damage steadily. Yeah, they get. Like, and then you control them. No, it's just, I think it's just poison, more or less. I, I don't know, though, right. for sure, because we were all like, what the hell is hacking doing? Mm-hmm. I'm glad they did include scanning, uh, the yeah. most important part oh, yeah, of Metroid Prime 2. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, absolutely. You well, include it, that in some way. And rather than learning about things you're going to blow up, it becomes a deadly weapon. Yeah. It becomes a weapon. You learn about their inner systems and exploit them to your advantage. Right. It's a yeah. weapon in the way that a pool cue is a weapon, where right, it's not yeah, really yeah. meant to be, but you know, I guess in a pinch. Yeah, yeah. Or eating bad food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, exactly. Give yourself food uh, poisoning. Is that where you guys met the first fan? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it was. While we were playing, uh, we did some three-player off and on, and then uh, I think we were uh, tweeting a little bit about where we were, and then uh, this guy came up to us. His name was Mark. Yeah. Uh, really very, cool. very, yeah. Definitely a very cool guy. Yeah, very cool guy. Very nice. And yeah. uh, we played with him for a little while. And I won the last game, and that's all there is to say about it. Yeah, okay. We can't deny that. No, she did. <laughs> She did. She showed us who the true Mecha, Me- Mecha Metroid Prime Echoes yeah. master is. So after we finished with Echoes, or <laughs> which Hector, took a lot longer yeah, than I would we think, su- we got a lot of mileage after those uh, um, on those four maps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah then two are locked. What the hell is that shit about? Yeah. I guess you have to. I don't know what you have to do. Echoes multiplayer just kicks you in the ass every yeah. which way. It's like I guess terrible. you have to beat the original game. I who would want to. I don't know. But anyway, we realized that there, there are some new games, newer mm-hmm. games, that mm-hmm. are out that none of us have played and we were interested in seeing. So Absolutely. With our uh, time that we had in the morning, we went to the current consoles room. Yeah. And uh, they had a Wii U set up there. Mm-hmm. So we decided to play some uh, some new Super Mario Brothers. 
uh, new Super Mario Brothers, Brothers Wii U. You, you, you. <laughs> you are the the Super Mario Brothers. It's right. A, it's a role yeah. playing game. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... Or you are the asshole who touches the screen and makes blocks appear. Yes. Yes. There's, uh... It didn't take long for us to get to that point. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so quick on dissing that gameplay mode, because the way it started was a three-player game, right. and then Cherry Doom, for whatever reason's like, I want to do the tablet thing where I well, make yeah. the platform. Maybe we should back up a little bit. Yeah. You're making it sound like we got right into the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that, too. And so there, there were some, uh, some... <laughs> Some menus to navigate. Um, World one one is technically the, yeah. yeah. The Wii U was a very needy system. Yeah, it's it's like, like um, you're not signed online. Do you want to get online? No. Do you have no? no. Um, well, I have you a new, up, not, I have, you I have a new update. update. You need yeah. to go online to update. Are you sure you don't want to? You're not going to be able to update. update. Well, do you, you're canceling. Like, okay. Well. Well, how are we going to do the Miiverse without a me? Yeah. Do you want a me? You, well, here's how the controller works. Do you need a reminder on how that? No. no? Okay. Okay. Well, wait, 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 guys, what about Street Pass? Oh, Street oh, Pass, you, you gotta you set that up. You want to do Street Pass, right? Oh, oh yeah, but... No? Well, what? if you want to in the future, you can go to settings. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just yeah. so you know. Wait, you Wait, said you really? didn't want Street Pass. Yeah, are you sure you didn't want Street Pass? Let me get this straight I mean, here. I know there's a cancel button, but... You, you know, don't there's want... this OK button over here that you might want to... You don't want it's... Street Pass or to be online? You want to just play the video are games? You, are you really? OK. Well, before we start your Mario video game yeah. experience, here's the story. All right. Told with no words. Yeah. It's, Bowser. It's a completely unpredictable new yes. direction for Mario. Yes. This time, instead of kidnapping the princess, he flings away a Mario and all that. Yeah, yeah. And then they have to go back. Well, and I think I think Bowser had a kind of a fucking attitude. I think he was intending to actually murder them. Yeah, this they time. just land into an acorn. Yeah, train. I mean, well, uh, even uh, he knows that the series is just over. Yeah, I mean, he's like, why do I do this pussy bullshit? Just reach out with a giant hand machine from the ship and just throw them. I yeah. mean, that will kill them. <laughs> well, you know what it is too when you're at PAX and you have like only like say like half hour or whatever to play the game. Right. After you go through like the friggin' hurdles of like the Wii, men Wii U menu shit, you really want to sit there and watch the damn plot right. of a fucking Mario Brothers game play out. Like, uh, I mean, who wants to just play a Mario game, just get yeah. right into it? I mean, that's not the series is not about the gameplay no. or the platform or the fun. No. It's about the visuals and taking in the rich. Lore and backstory that is the Mario universe. The way it's the Wii told. universe. Excuse yeah, absolutely. Me. No, absolutely. Yeah. I agree. It's beautiful. Yeah. I so after navigating those menus for quite a long time, yeah, um, you actually got into the game. And it's, it's. I mean, it's, it's what not, you would expect. It's not bad. It's. It's, it's just. Just. It's been done. It's new Super Mario Brothers again. Yeah, I mean, you know what you're in for, I guess, so if you like it already, then yeah. you'll like it. Well, the platforming thing, well, you did it more than us. I mean... The, oh, yeah, the, the controller the, the, the tablet. The tablet, which is what I wanted to see how that works, since I haven't seen, seen it before. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, like, there's a couple things you can do with it. You can help platform, and but you don't need to make platforms for them, for anybody to succeed. It's only it's mainly to um, either help them out of, like, really tight scrapes or um, to get to, like, secret areas. Or, like, yeah. And you can also pop the bubbles uh, that they're in, and sometimes you can, like, push a star and it does something. I'm not sure. Exactly it made, like, the screen get all... Sparkly. Yeah, you really got some cosmetic. sparkly, glitzy thing, which yeah. I don't know what it did. Uh, but yeah, after a while, I just tried to start fuck, uh, fucking them over by putting blocks everywhere and yeah. while yeah. they were jumping over lava. And then we started trying to like throw each other into the lava. Yeah, 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 yeah. As you do with the uh, new. Superheroes. I mean, all Mario games kind of gravitate towards that <laughs> that mean sooner or later. Yeah, yeah, people who play, so. But then we moved on. To yeah. A much then there was different. another big, big blockbuster AAA game that yeah. none of us had played, and we're all fans of the franchise. Of Resident Evil. So. So, you know, we had played five, same kind of style in six, done the co op. You know, you and I played the co op, and we it was really fun. Yeah, absolutely. Back in the day when we played it. So. I played the co op campaign like three or four times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so great. fucking sick of that game. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so yeah, we uh, checked out Resident Evil Six. The next step in survival horror. And, <laughs> I mean, where do we begin with this game? Well, we, here's the deal. Again, we wanted to kind of just jump right in and play like the multiplayer co-op, but mm -hmm. there's no title screen right away. Right. You, you gotta have a you gotta have a cold open in games now. Yeah. Yeah. I absolutely. Guess so. Like th 20, 20, 30 minutes before. Like the in title case drop. you didn't see the title of the game in the box that you put in as yeah. you're putting the disc in on the disc as well. You need some more reminders that, you know, you got the right game. Yes. Leon, this is the game you purchase. Leon and yeah. his friend are injured, 
and he's helping her up. And right. So there's two people, but it's not co-op yet. No. Yeah. Exactly. And we're like, did we? Because then I'm thinking, like, wait, did we miss the title screen? Or <laughs> yeah, is this like a demo? We're like pausing is, is this, and trying is this stuff. all the cutscene that we're seeing now. So yeah. Leon drags his friend around, um, mm-hmm. looking for some healing items. And then I'm honestly not sure what happened for the next ten minutes. Uh, you find an herb. Yeah. About to heal her, zombie comes out. Yeah. And, you know, first zombie fight of the game. And, and like, you know, a obviously, you shoot, obviously you shoot him in the head and he dies. Obviously right. Obviously you died. Right, well, you would think you would just shoot the zombie in the head to see, like, oh, hey, there's zombies, I use gun, point, click. And then yeah. you hit the Xbox light but, button. But no, there's actually, it's like, no, you need to do some quick time events to, right. to yeah. kill the zombie first, because right. that's kind of where this gameplay's going. And then, of course, you waggle the stick, and then as you, this was on the Xbox, and as you're waggling the, as I was waggling the stick against the zombie, my thumb hit the Xbox button, mm-hmm. so a little bloop thing came up. Right. And I don't have an Xbox, so I was like, oh my god, what gameplay mode is this? And then <laughs> zombie police, no, zombie truck driver. Yeah. He was upset that Leon bashed his window in to get right. the uh, the herb. Yeah. He, like, he came out, I was like, my car was unlocked. Why did you have to do that? <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. And like, come on, don't be a dick. And then you mm-hmm. wrestle a little bit. Right. Yeah. And he eats your throat out because you hit the Xbox Live button. Yeah, yeah. I actually did that twice, but yeah. the second time it, did, it wasn't a fatal mistake. <laughs> And then I think did I you got punched by one of the zombies, which is one of the obvious. Yeah, this guy's straight up slaps. Yeah, so I, I think the idea is that in Resident Evil Six, each there's three scenarios, and then each one is kind of a different Resident Evil style. Yeah. yeah. So Leon's one is supposedly the more classic Resident Evil zombies, where they're like lumbering and slow lumbering and, and slow. But they punch. But they soft. punch for some reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're kind of spazzes. Yeah. They're just kind of like. Ugh. And then, like they're well, they're they're new zombies, so they don't quite know what they're doing. They don't yeah. know they're supposed to be all about brains and stuff. <laughs> and then I took over for the, that part of the Leon single player campaign, and I don't know what happened. Like you're running. That's the thing. You're running on top of cars and traffic, and then you jump into a helicopter. Yeah, and then the craziest fucking shit ever happens yeah. for like. It's like all right, five this is the first straight. part of the scenario. We kind of need to do our cliche quotient. Yeah. Or quota here. And then yeah, like in the, the the. Every mode of transportation was destroyed. Yeah, there was a helicopter. There oh, was yeah. a subway derailing. And there was an airplane that crashed yeah. into the building out yeah. of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, like it, like even thinking about it now, I'm like confused. Just recounting my memories, like. Like, did Capcom just get a budget way higher than what they requested? And we're like, well... Um. But keep in mind, nothing, by the way, in the game has yet explained why you're there or what's going on. Like, right. you figure there's zombies. I'm and... guessing there's going to be backstory later that explains it in right, retro. But suddenly... Yeah. Then well, you're... No, that's not the best way to do your storytelling. You're doing a quick-time event where you're piloting a crashing helicopter <laughs> right. while looking in the back and shooting at the zombie who's attacking your friend. But what's funny is the, the pilot's obviously dead, but your friend's like, hey, are you okay? And no, oh, he's a zombie. But yeah. he's like, his head's all bloody and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Look, look, you idiot. Like, obviously. I'm but, totally surprised that this happened. I know, but this then... Is... Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then when Leon shoots the guy, it turns around, and, oops, the, the helicopter's in a tailspin again. And yeah. it's like, didn't you just do this? And Important to add, quick time events happening all throughout all of this. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, constantly. It's like... Constantly stick waggling. Hey, oh, hit a B button. A test. I'm holding my head right now. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's kind of. Sounds like you need to relieve some uh, pack stress. Yeah. Behind the yeah. So um. I know just the man. So actually, during this time, uh, another fan uh, came up to us. Oh yeah, yeah. Because we were again tweeting about what we were doing. Uh, his name was Spencer. Mm-hmm. Uh, really nice guy. Yeah, also. He's cool. Yeah, very cool guy. Good, uh, cool to talk to. Definitely. And so uh, yeah, he, we played Resident Evil Six with him for a while too. He joined yeah. us. Yeah, we. And so then. We, uh, like, well, yeah, we just kind of swapped in and out. And then uh, you had somebody, a buddy of yours on Twitter. Oh, yeah, Zero. Also came up um, he's yeah. a really good friend. Uh, I do streams with him sometimes pretty rarely because uh, we're very rarely on, online at the same time. But, yeah, he was really cool. We did a bunch of stuff with him. And then uh, then I lost. Uh, we lost him, and I feel really bad about <laughs> yeah. that. But no, he was also cool to hang out with. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, very yeah, cool, very guy. cool guy. And uh, it, was good, it was good that he showed up because he had played Resident Evil 6 before, so yeah, he was kind of able could, to. Well, we, the thing with Resident Evil 6 is it's never clear. Clear, like kind of like you said, why you're there and what you're supposed to be doing yeah. in any given situation. So, so we turned over to, I think we died in Leon's scenario. One. No, we finished the Leon intro. Oh, we finished campaign. the intro thing. With, then we did the, the new character, Jake. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Then you go to the menu and you pick one of the three cam or uh, can, campaigns, I guess. Can I, by the way, just just like throw in one last thing about the Leon single player intro thing? Oh sure. So your helicopter kind of crashes and you fall out of it and live. And then you have your quick time event where the helicopter's coming down and crashing on top of you. And you survive that. And it's like a fucking war zone outside of explosions. And they walk into this building and everything is just super calm and serene. And it's like. Yeah, but there's dead bo- there's dead people on the ground. Yeah. Like, what yeah. happened here? I know. Yeah. And then, 
<laughs> but anyway, how then, could this happen? It's like, do you want to play the Leon campaign, the Chris campaign, or the Jake campaign, if I remember? Yeah. And we're like, yeah. oh, well, I need to hear the Jake canon. Yeah, I mean, Jake was looking like a very brooding, interesting fellow in yeah. his uh, character portrait. So, like, who's this new guy? So, yeah. so we played as Jake. Uh, so his campaign is in line with the merc-oriented zombies who have firearms in yeah. Resident Evil 5 and kind of late sure. in the game. Yeah. The ones yeah. that could shoot you and stuff. Uh-huh. That was... They're, 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 they have lots of eyes. Well, yeah, here's... Is there here's, a problem? Yeah. They have, like, like, just big pustules on their face. Yeah. yeah. And, and he has no problem just grabbing them by the face, whereas I'd be like, mm-hmm. put on a glove. You're just <laughs> yeah. asking for trouble. But then, like, he's eating an apple, and one guy comes out with a knife, and he's like, I better use this guy to slice my apple for me. Like, <laughs> that was pretty great. <laughs> You're in a war zone, though. It's... Obviously, it was, a me- uh, it was a metaphor for uh, the loss of innocence. Okay. Like, mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that was fair. Th- okay. yeah. Resident Evil 6, why not? Yeah, <laughs> that, I think, is the best tagline. That's the tagline. <laughs> So we we killed Bane basically. Yeah, like a Bane like character. And then we immediately got up. put into another boss fight. Yeah, good job on that boss fight. Here's another boss fight. Well, the and best... while you're fighting, uh, well, before Bane shows up, you're in this room with a bunch of explosive barrels, yes. and you have to fight a couple of guys. So well, Spencer decides to. Just yeah, Spencer just... was Spencer uh, kind of barrel happy. Blows up all yeah. the barrels. Then the boss fight happens, which sucks because yeah. it's like, oh, we're out of barrels. Yeah, to the use. barrels don't <laughs> respawn. So. so... But, anyway. but it's also not clear when you fight Bane if you're supposed to like. Or is it a puzzle-based fight where you yeah. have to shoot the barrels to blow them up, and then like something bursts out and you shoot the weak spots, or if you just no, just shoot them a bunch, or just shoot, yeah, exactly. Well, That's what is, it wound up being. Because I got that gun, the Elephant Killer. There's one hidden, and it's got mm-hmm. five bullets, and there's no refills for it. And I hit him, and he looked like he got staggered. So I'm like, maybe that's what you do in addition to the barrels. But then he just kept going. And then, like, we were both out of, we were all out of ammo, and then the fight just, like, ended. Yeah, like, right when I would use my last shot. Yeah, but, like, you didn't even hit him or anything. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure I missed, and I think the game was just like, you're out of ammo, you you put up a good fight there. Yeah, but even though, like, you missed or whatever, Jake's like, take that, you son of a bitch. (laughs) And it's like, take what? Take my (laughs) terrible aim. I know. (laughs) Maybe that taunt is what killed his game, you know? Yeah, exactly. Right. But yeah, then right after that fight, you go through a room and then another fight. And this time it's a big fuck-off monster. And then another one appears later. Like, big, building big. Like, it's and big it's as like, yeah. yeah. So as you're fighting, some people are talking, there's like this SWAT team coming in and doing stuff. And you're, you know, walking around fighting him. At one point, he can walk into a power line and... Yeah, no, so you're like, okay, so am I supposed to lead him to different power lines? And then you know, Zero, who was with us, said, oh no, you just kind of wait for a while and then they'll plant some charges. Yeah. And, and that's not clear at all. until they're dead. Yeah. Yeah. So, so clearly we should have stuck with New Super Mario Bros. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, that was about the point where we gave up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, we're kind of over this game. And we're very glad we didn't purchase it. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yeah. Coming out on PC. Yeah. So yeah. that's something to look, not look forward to getting. Then oh, we, then... We went to a panel. Well, the only we, panel... Oh, wait, sorry, what? Oh, no, I, I'm sorry. I remembered something before that panel. Go ahead. But uh, it, we got lunch. Uh, that's it. That's right. We went... We got lunch. Oh, we, yeah, we went to the uh, food we court We looked panel. for food. Yeah. Uh, Can I... Yeah, sorry. The food was, uh, apparently, we, there's a there, huge food court, but we only found, like, the carnival food The line court. was really bewildering, though. Yeah. Because, yeah. so there was this yeah. long line that either led to fried dough or pizza. pizza. Yeah, And we were long. looking back and forth, but the line kept kind of shifting as to where it was ending. Yeah. And, like, all the people were shifting with them, so... So we ended up on the, the steak and chicken line. Yeah, yeah, which was the shorter of the lines. Yeah, it still took about, like, 20 minutes mm-hmm. to get to the front of the line. Mm-hmm. Not terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it was, you know, convention food, I guess. Mm-hmm. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Well, we got the, uh, the steak like sub thing, which was really big and, and very filling, like, but you got the uh, chicken, chicken kebab pita, thing. Which cost the same, and it was much, much smaller. Yeah. If, well, to be fair, I mean, it was called the steak bomb. <laughs> Yeah, and when I saw that name, I'm like, I've not given it up yet on life. But then mm, after yeah. waiting for like ten minutes, I'm like, all right, I'm not. Mm. So I guess I have given up on life. Um, <laughs> then we went to the panel. Yes. And, uh, yeah, our one panel for the day. We I uh, messily ate my chicken pita while people talked about depression. Yeah, exactly. It was yeah, a, yeah. The take this panel. Yeah. It was a very mm. um, uh, serious panel. So mm. I'm not. I mean, they, it was there was some humor, but it was very serious and yeah, yeah. yeah. Depressing. They approached we, the matter we picked very the most uh, fun panel of the podcast about. Yes. That's the only <laughs> panel we went to all day. But the highlight, I think, of the panel for me was before that, where I saw a young man wearing a T-shirt yes. with his YouTube channel name written. Yeah, yeah in the queue room. It's a light. Yeah, so you took a, a picture of that and tweeted it out, and then some people uh, looked at the guy and said, well, he only has eight subscribers, so I don't think his marketing <laughs> campaign's working yeah, very well. Yeah, it's a like uh-huh. and subscribe on his T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
I have uh, never seen that before. That's new. Um, After that, we all kind of got separated for a while in the... In the expo hall? Or was it uh, yes. We were just, tr- like, circling around the expo hall, and we all met up at Navigator Alley. We did. Yeah. Navigator Alley. Booth 1198. Yeah, Navigator has uh, a booth. Or mm-hmm. an alley, I guess. It's like between two booth. booths, yeah. They yeah. set it up like a red carpet. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, the Navigator Awards. Are so being... you go in there. What, uh, Like we said yesterday, they're doing an award show for like Game of the Year and a few other categories. And they have a very, um, very modern voting uh, approach to voting this yes. year for uh, user-submitted votes. There. So you, uh, there's this big thing of little beads? Beans. Be- beans. Pinto beans. Pinto beans, yeah, thank mm-hmm. you. And so you put as many beans in you want as you want in whichever jar has the game that you think is the best game of the year. It's it's there's two jars per game. One is what you think will win the Navigator Award, and what you think should win the Navigator. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty cut and dry. Yes. Yeah. What did you guys vote for? The choices were very odd. Mm. Well, there was The I Walking didn't think Dead. They were. The Walking Dead, which was a great yeah. choice. Torchlight Two. Oh yeah, I didn't which see that one. I haven't played, but. Game of the Year? Mm. It was, was a Spec Ops game. Spec Ops, Spec Ops The Line, which has been uh, heralded for its story. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've heard that's really good. Yeah. Uh, Journey, which is that mm-hmm. uh, downloadable game. game. Yeah, that's fair. That's what I've heard for, for Should Win. Mm hmm. Um, um, I'm sorry. I don't remember what else there was. Yeah, me either. And they had these uh, pretty sweet trophies mm-hmm. for whoever the lucky winner is. Yeah. So. Um, when I, we met with a couple of fans too. Mm-hmm. One of yeah, them, yeah, we bumped into some people found us at the Navigator Alley. We met uh, Turbo C, uh, mm-hmm. something awful goon. Yeah, met him again. again very cool guy. Very, Absolutely, very right. cool to talk to. Hope to get to see him again. Two guys, Matt and Pat. I was surprised actually picked me out of the crowd, which was oh odd. yeah yeah. Um, not odd. I mean, I mean, I'm you know happy they came and say hi. Don't get me wrong. I just mm-hmm. didn't think I was like that distinctive or anything. Right? It's like oh my god, it's slow beef with the rainbow wig. Um, <laughs> but. Apparently, one of them regaled the story. Regaled. <laughs> one of them told us that uh, before we arrived there, one of them was wearing a Red Supre shirt, mm. and this navigator CEO guy looked at him and kind of like, would he shake his head? It was just kind of semi, kind of eye roll thing, like, an okay. Yeah. Like, I know why you're here. You're so, here. He was, you know, he's wanting to talk to people about the awards and stuff and get people excited about that. I was like, okay, you just want to know about the George Wood old videos. Well, like, it's right. so I, I, the first guy I talked to who worked there. I'm like, so, I'm like, this is a little weird, because I've been following Navigator for a couple of years now, and he goes, you have? <laughs> I don't know if he said exactly, that was so, really something on that order. And I'm like, well, you know, he has those videos, and he goes, you might want to ask this yeah, guy. Immediately. Who, yeah, he's like, yes, yeah, the CEO of Navigator. So I walk over, we walk over, yeah. and we're like, hey, how are you? You know, I was like, well, honestly, I've been following Navigator a couple of years, you know, because I'm interested in this game and the Clinton you're seeing. And he goes, and he's like, yeah, you know, honestly, we're a little misunderstood with that, you know, basically we found this old uh, TV show in the 90s that George Wood did, we thought they were funny and ridiculous, so we put them up. So apparently it was an ironic kind of thing, except mm. I was like, well, I think the issue is there is no context for it, right. so it's like, I don't know if I, I, that I was meant to laugh with you at him or mm-hmm. what, um, and I was like, uh, I was like, you know, because I, you know, I was like, we, we do these videos, my friend and I here. Where we make fun of other videos on the internet, and he goes, "Are you Red Supre?" Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, I said, "Wait, a minute, your voices sound kind of familiar." Yeah, then yeah. he then he said, "He's like, you do have kind of that voice." So yeah, yeah. Um, and then he like exploded. Yeah, yeah, he exploded laughing when we yeah. said yes, and he hugged both of us he like did, at the same yeah. time. He leaned over, and was like, "Ah, <laughs> Red Supre." Yeah, yeah I got a. I wish I got a candid shot of that. Yeah, <laughs> that was really. Been... But um, he uh, it was weird because I, I was like, let me take, can I get my picture with you? He was like, oh, I don't want it to be about me. I want it to be about the awards. So I was like, <laughs> right. they have a candid of us, so we were like pretending to talk. Yeah. What I what was awkward though is because you were take you were cherry numbering the picture, mm-hmm. and I wanted to do a thing where like he was candid, maybe not looking at me, and I was doing like a is this kind of <laughs> but when I did that you're like what are you, what are you saying because you thought I was talking to you and I'm like oh nothing <laughs> forget it abort um, but at one point then I was like so is George Wood affiliated with Navigator he goes no no not anymore and then but then he said um, it'd be kind of difficult it'd be it was like it'd be kind of hard uh, yeah. but like kind of doing a wink wink like that whole George thing. Wood is dead thing. But so not really clarifying what that was all about. Because I and I really I was very tempted to be like, well, you know, there's footage of him in 2008, or 
or if he is dead, why would you do yeah. those sketches yeah. about yeah. digging up his body? At that but, point, it would be a little odd to press yeah. the issue, and we talked to him for a little while. At that yeah, point. It's just so. like, yeah, right. I'm not. I'm not here to do investigative <laughs> well, journalism. Why are you lying about these stupid videos? <laughs> I know. Yeah. What's the deception for? What are you hiding, navigator? <laughs> Without our IGN badges or something. <laughs> What's really going on here? <laughs> By the way, I want to suck a dick at Max. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so there so was that. There, yeah, I, um, yeah, he, he, yeah. So there. That's also where you signed the autographs. That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah this was, that was a uh, Pat. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, which is always nice. It, I always feel weird about it in the sense that it's yeah, like, who it's the hell wants my <laughs> autograph? But, yeah. Um, where are they going to put that? I wonder. I don't know. I have no idea, but whatever. Yeah, you know. I mean, happy to do it. Just <laughs> it's like a coaster. <laughs> so, <I> mean, yeah. <laughs> just put a drink. In that, okay. I'm out of toilet paper. Oh, yeah. There, there you go. go. There you are. There we go. So, yes. So, that was... So, yeah, I mean, we got some questions answered with Navigator. Yeah, but, but not not complete closure, but probably yeah. enough. Enough. Yeah. Enough to uh, to kind of put that whole thing to rest. Yes. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Seriously, beans in a jar? Do you have an iPad or a web page or I don't know? Yeah. <laughs> no, all right, whatever. It's Navigator. But it's in line with what he would do. <laughs> it, it, you is, know what I mean? it is, it's yeah. Just, it's They've more got, confusing. Whatever brand they well, have, know, they maintain old it. old stuff and yeah, right. bring it in yes. to the present. Fair enough, I guess. Uh-huh. Why don't they just pick the game out of a lottery bag of, like, <laughs> colored stones? Oh, like, that is probably how they pick the game. Piece. No, but, um... <clears throat> so after that, we, um... We decided to say we're going to Classic Console. If mm-hmm. you want to come back in, yeah. Um, we were originally going to get uh, maybe and a, a bunch of our fans came over and said hi. Mm-hmm. We were originally going to get Bomberman for Turbo Graphics, but some fucker decided to play Bonk's Adventure first. <laughs> so then we got the GameCube. We were going to play um, what was it Mario Kart? Yeah, uh, Double Dash. Double yeah, we were going to play yeah. Double Dash, and then uh, the game wouldn't start. Right. So, so I took that back and uh, they said we don't have another one. So I was like, okay, uh, I don't know, Smash Brothers Melee. Why not? Mm-hmm. Uh, managed to play that for part of a round, then that game also froze up and start, stopped working. So, so returned that. And was kind of a Metroid Prime Echoes! Yeah, we had an impromptu <laughs> Metroid Prime Echoes tour. Yeah, and at this point there was like a dozen or so people with us. I'd say so, right? Um, yeah. So we're like, oh, well, let's make a tournament. Out of, not really a tournament, yeah. but just like switch in, swap out, just some, whatever. Some people we'd seen last year, some people like knew like Turbo C and um, mm-hmm. uh, Proton John came in. Yeah, Proton John came in yeah. at one point. Mm-hmm. And we met um Nick who's running the Yeah, Nick who's doing the uh Red the Retsu Awards. Retsu Awards thing, yeah. yeah, absolutely. He uh, he talked to us, he said he had tabulated the results. Uh, I think he'll oh, be releasing them. them yeah. Well, you know, say that for later. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah. um <laughs> Um, yeah, he said 3,500 people or so took his survey. Wow. wow. Um, so. He ga- he gave us some of the results that we asked about, but um, we'll... Is that, what the, is that the guy with the clipboard? No. No, that was no, a different the, guy. Okay. That was a different guy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, thanks, Nick, for you know Absolutely. putting all that together. I mean, it's a lot of effort on your part, and we yeah. just want to know we appreciate it. And I, I'd like to say, in the vein of meeting Navigator, we had possibly the most baffling tournament ever held in the classic console room, being that it was Metroid Prime fucking <laughs> yeah. Echoes. And like most and people, there were so many people watching it. I know, yeah. <laughs> like oh watching. man, this is Metroid Prime Echoes. Well, it's funny too because they were all like, "Wait, how do I like turn?" Yeah. You know, like, none of the controls are intuitive. And of course, we had played earlier in the day, so we were yeah. kind of. <laughs> it's like, no, that's Death Ball. You want that? Yeah, that's yeah. good. Rolling to people. Yeah. Hold R for the Spider Ball. Pro tips from Uncle Slowby from <laughs> yeah. Metroid Prime. I know. Some people even recognized me, or once, once I'd been introduced. Yeah. And uh, complimented me on some things I did uh, five years ago. Hey, there we <laughs> go. I think I set some hearts aflame. There you go. Hey. Um, <laughs> uh, but we, um, what do you call it? We met a couple people who, like, I don't know if they were, I think, I mean, they were fans of ours, but I think they might have came with Proton John. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because one guy came up to me and he's like, he was pretty funny. Uh, he was, what did he say to me? He was like, hi, my name is Chugga Conroy, invented Let's Play. <laughs> and it was just like, um, but then, uh, and then um, this other guy walked up. We didn't see him right yeah, away. And, yeah, we didn't see him right away. The person next to us said, oh, hey, PewDiePie. And we looked, and for a second, yeah. I was like, wait a second. Because he had, like, So, the... so many things went through my head at once. Like, is someone cosplaying? One, is someone cosplaying as PewDiePie? Because they saw, like, our yeah. video or something. Then that seemed a little silly. It was right. like, wait, but could that, is that... I thought for a like a split second, like, yeah. holy shit, PewDiePie is standing by next then, to me. But then, like, and... then it turns out just... 
poor, poor guy. He just looks like him. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's no, like, no, fuck you. Through no effort of his own. And yeah. Uh, he gets shit for that all the time, but, I mean, Basically. yeah. He just looks exactly like him. And it was funny, too, because then he's talking to him. He was, he was a nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah, he was a really nice guy. And he, he was one of those, because he was like, uh, I wish you guys would retro pro one of my videos, which, and I'm like, ah, we don't really do that. And he goes, my, my username is Chibi Neko uh, Demix. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I yeah, think we'll I'll remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somehow um, I did, though. <laughs> Siri, look, yeah. <laughs> But um, no, it was interesting. It's it's it was interesting with the crowd because you kind of I was like trying to like give time to everybody and yeah, walk exactly. through and mingle and all that. But you know, I feel bad because I feel like there are people. And then like my wife called in the middle of the guy's story and I had to run out and take that mm-hmm. and then I came back in and stuff. But um, oh, and yeah, one thing we should mention by the way, we were going to mention with Spencer. Cause... Oh yeah, yeah. When we were playing Resident Evil Six, uh, this this one guy, I don't well, we didn't catch his name, but he yeah. just he just came out real quick. He just said, "Hey, I just wanted to say hi. I didn't mean to interrupt your game or anything." Yeah. We're like, oh no, please interrupt Come us. Say I mean, hi. Yeah. Fuck with Resident Evil Six. You're doing I mean, we're, yeah, I mean the. <laughs> The deep story of Resident Evil Six wasn't that absorbing to me. So yeah, no. Not, please feel free to interrupt us. I hope this doesn't sound like arrogant or egotistical. No. But like, please, like, if you want to say hi, feel free to say hi. Yeah, just know? yeah, come up and do it. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the opposite of arrogant. Oh. <laughs> no, I just I, I meant like I didn't want to sound like I know you all want to yes. say hi. and You're not yeah, gonna, yeah. you know. Then yeah, you're a dick. Yeah, well, mm, well. <laughs> it's false modesty is the thing. Um, well, it should be big. So, um, so let's when see, we, the evening was starting to wind down at this point. Yeah. So we uh, split uh, up we, for we, a little bit. Yeah, we wanted to go to the expo hall because it's kind of the big draw at PAX yeah. is all the the new stuff. Yeah. So we uh, split up and just kind of for like a half hour or so just kind of got a perimeter of the expo hall. Uh, they have a watchdogs thing that you can play. It's kind of closed. You can't watch other people play, but you can uh, go mm-hmm. inside of a little little cove and play it yourself. So mm-hmm. we didn't get a chance to do that today, but definitely we'll try to tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I was pretty much just overwhelmed. I was, I'd like, there's yeah. just so much stuff and so many. People. You kind of have to get like a lay of what is there on day yeah. one, and then yeah. once you kind of see like, maybe, okay, maybe I want to see that, maybe I want to yeah. see that, yeah. and then on Saturday, kind of have more of a game plan yeah. going into it. Yeah. Uh, I went and looked around the tabletop. There's a lot of stuff that looks like a lot of fun to play, and I want to. I'm, I might try to do it, but it's. Uh, I'm super shy, so. Uh, no. no. Even though I'm constantly talking about uh, HWP dicks mm-hmm. on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. So it's like it's hard for me to go up and be like, oh, can I play? Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to do that. And there's also like a thing where you can get a, like a little uh, figurine and paint it for free. I might try that, even though that's sort of time consuming. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that, there's a lot of uh, cool tabletop stuff that I don't know anything about that I would like to can, learn. Can you just dip the figurine in like a thing of red paint and be like, yeah. oh, it's red? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Or like rainbow. That's popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, uh, speaking of tabletop stuff, uh, John brought uh, Cards Against Humanity deck. Oh, that's right. Deck, uh, so at some point, uh, he has his panel tomorrow, but I think he, he said he was going to have some time, so yeah, we should definitely take him up on that and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. see what that game's all about. So we were going to go to the Mega 64 panel. Right, um, that was our original plan. We went last year and, and had a very good time there. But John but, invited us, well, okay, I'll say this. John um, had a super secret video game tournament. Yeah, don't spoil it. I won't. People get very upset for some reason. Held in his hotel room. Hotel room. Room. So you had, let's say, what, 16? Yeah. 16 or so participants. Well, no, not everyone there was there to play the game. Well, the way it worked was... I think, I think there were groupies? Don't Only... diss groupies, I'm a groupie. Well, I'm not, I'm not dissing the groupies, <laughs> I'm just... Here, video. Um, uh, but here's the thing. Only four participants at a time could be in the room. Right. So everyone else was just sitting outside and waiting to play, get pulled in, two people could pulled out, whatever, right? Okay. It looked like this intense party hall, yes. pretty much. And in fact, some people in the next room came and said, excuse me, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> That's what and they said. And so I just gave them like a blunt, honest answer. Of, well, they were there for PAX, so when I told them, they were like, oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm speaking a little weird about this event, but... We tweeted about it um, in mm-hmm. sort of obtuse terms, and, peop- and people yelled at us for having it for spoiling. Like, the, like, hey, I don't think you're supposed to be spoiling what the tournament is. The guys. super secret event that is a fucking video game tournament for no prize in someone's hotel room, <laughs> and people were just sitting outside and waiting to play for like hours. <laughs> 
That's the PAX experience. I know. You play games for no prizes. And for the record... We're in line to play games for no prizes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. When you put it like that, absolutely. And for the record, Proton John even said to us after after we took our turn, because we did play, Mm -hmm. um, he said to us, like, you know... Hey, did um, person I'm working with on this tournament who I guess I can't reveal because Twitter doesn't want the big secret out. Um, did he say anything about not mentioning this? And he, we're like, no. He goes, okay, you can totally talk about it. But Twitter says no. Yeah. And they have the final say. <laughs> yeah, basically. So uh, we, we did that. Yeah. Uh, totally blew it. Yeah, we did. We totally blew it. Oh, spoilers. Yeah. We'll edit that out. Um, <laughs> well, the game you play... Um, which is totally not Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, no, the second... The, se- <laughs> the second player... <laughs> Sorry, I did the jerk-off motion. You can't see it. The second player in the game... Like, I've never, I never really played this before. Um, it, it, all they do is just jiggle the friggin' joystick around and press A when to throw a shell or whatever the fuck. That's it. It's like all they do is throw you a damn bone with that, right? So, but, like, so I'm just sitting there doing that or whatever, and then at one point I make a joke, like, all right, I'm going to the bathroom and stuff, but apparently John warned us people might get upset with my flipping attitude that we the hotel to... room video game tournament. Well, you know, it's something you have to take seriously and get it to. You have to want to win. I, Otherwise, I, why are you there? I besides the not. fact that we were invited. Yes, <laughs> and that it's supposed to be a fun video game. With no prize if you win, mind you. Yes. <laughs> you're getting your damn YouTube channel plugged anyway. What is the problem? Absolutely. I think you're just bitter that you didn't get a prize. That's just true. Yeah, that's if there was a prize involved, yeah, I would have totally. You would have been. Then I would have jiggled that controller. So, and then I guess to cap off our ridiculous night. Yeah, we came down. It was kind of late, so we didn't want to like walk back, and we didn't feel like doing the public transit. So I'm like, oh, we'll call a cab. So uh, we went out there. The um, bell, uh, the bellhop guy said, oh, you "Guys need a cab." I said, "Yeah." And there was a there was a limo right there. And he said, "Oh, well, for fifteen bucks, you can take this limousine home." <laughs> like, oh, okay, <laughs> sure. We got to ride in a limousine home from our <laughs> hotel room video game, game tournament, tournament. Yeah. chosen by Proton John. <laughs> So that's how we made our exit. Yeah, we went to our hotel. What a fucking, fucking day. partied in that limo. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I think they did not go as we expected. The no. driver was probably like <laughs> rolling his eyes at how much we were freaking out. Because yeah, we were like, we were cracking up while we were in yeah. there. Yeah, like, what are we doing? Ridiculous. <laughs> Why are we in a limo right now? <laughs> Hi, Bala. Let's play us. The, the pizza and the yes. podcast is really the only thing that went according to plan today. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. So, and that was day one in a, in a nutshell. Yeah. Absolutely. So, a preview of day two, John's panels tomorrow. Yeah, definitely go into that. Definitely go into that. You guys are going to use your cred to get in early? Skip the line? I don't know. I mean, there might we'll be try to throw little... our weight around, but I don't think I don't know if that's going to... I don't, I don't think people really know us, or we have any clout no. for that. Well, I mean, I think if, I mean, uh, I don't know. Eh. I think if, if we rub elbows with the right people, you know, possibly, mm. but... Slowly just winked at me. Yeah. And I'm uh, calling the cops. I think you should. No, no. I mean, <laughs> I didn't even mean it like that, but now I'm thinking, about, yeah, if you rub elbows... No, I'm kidding. Um, so I think on the Day Zero podcast, we kind of went over what our plan was for day one yeah. as far as like panels and stuff so I don't think any of that really did, happened I think you did mention the depression panel and we did do yeah, we that did. yeah there is that <clears throat> so that's one part of the itinerary we did uh, stick to um, so tomorrow uh, aside from John's panel which is mandatory attendance the there's a panel called do JRPGs really matter and I, I used to play JRPGs a good bit, so I'm kind of curious to see just kind of what people's thoughts are about let me, it, let me, what the future is. Let me save you an hour. No. <laughs> uh, okay, taking that off the schedule. Uh, <laughs> no, um, um, let's see, there is... I was thinking of possibly attending the TGS panel. There's a, um, a Mass Effect trilogy retrospective that sounds kind of interesting, but what I know Bioware... Well, Bioware kind of keeps their cards close to the chest, so I don't know if they'll actually be that informative or if they'll be that open about, hey, here's the parts where we yeah. didn't, where we kind of messed up. I don't, I'm kind of like interested in hearing their point of view yeah. on that, but I don't know if that's actually what it's going to be about. Yeah. Right. But at the same time, I played all three Mass Effect games, yeah. and 
kind of interested just in kind of the idea of the panel. Yeah, no, absolutely. But it's a bio, at the same time, it's a Bioware panel. I'm assuming people from Bioware are hosting the panel. Yeah. So, you know, big name companies always get big, huge lines, so it might yeah. not be worth it in the end. Well, uh, I'm going to try some Revengeance, since I don't have Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't have a PS3 anymore, and I'm a huge Metal Gear Solid fan, so, yeah, right. I got to so, try it. Here's, here's what we do. We're going to get two copies of Revengeance, because I have the feeling this would be like half an hour of cutscene. <laughs> At the beginning, that you're not. Yeah, Alex will play it early when there's no lines. Yeah, and then you'll have to do Jake's scenario. Yeah, right. And then <laughs> and then you won't know why you're doing anything you're supposed to be. Doing. And then Jake will get mad and relieve the stress of the giant monsters you blow them behind the door. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right. There's a panel about worst apps ever made. I I want to I want to go to that. It sounds like it might be kind of a yeah Ritzy Play style thing where they just make fun of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like a like an AMV hell kind of thing. Yeah. A lot of anime right. conventions well, I, have I mean, uh, anime hell type things. I make apps too, so I might be interested yeah. in that. Yeah. There's one called Violence Video Games and Children, the Scientific Controversy. I'm good, thank you. I'll go to that. Alright, fine. For your, my uh, you don't have to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm, but I get lonely. <laughs> oh. I, I, my, my minor was sociology, so, mm. you know. Well, mine was political science, so. Alright, name droppers. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Alright. So, is that it? I'm fucking tired. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So I didn't, how, I didn't how really do, we do? do much today, but that's fucking wore me out. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, that, that is a weird thing, right? It's like I feel so. What was that you just did? I was trying to subtly tell him how much time we had spent on the podcast since you can't see the computer. <laughs> okay. You're great at this. Thanks a lot. Get the fuck out, no. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I mean, if you don't want to like. Reveal the secret. Uh, you can just look at your timestamp and see how long it's been going. He can't. He can't My see time the computer. Stamp? T- his timestamp ta- flashes never, on the back of his computer. Never mind, never mind. All right, mm-hmm. it's good. No, great way to end it. Thank you. Okay. I don't, I know. <laughs> and so the podcast goes out with a whimper. All right, all right. Don't come back, you stupid girl. <laughs> Did you really just fart her? No. no Did no. you not see my mouth? No, I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Is that what a fart sounds like to me? <laughs> even a fort sound sometimes all right that's a good way to end it there